Hi, and welcome to today's NVDA Advanced Topic. Last time we explored some pointers on installing NVDA. I want to cover that in depth a little later, but before that, let's first take a look at temporary and portable copies. The copy of NVDA, which runs when the launcher loads, is a temporary copy of NVDA. This behaves like any other copy of NVDA, with some restrictions. One restriction with the temporary copy is that any NVDA settings changed cannot be saved. This temporary copy can be useful for testing features in a new version before installing it. NVDA can be installed on a PC or a portable copy can be created. This places all needed files in one location, such as on a USB memory stick. A portable copy does not add anything to the system registry, so it can be run from anywhere, including a library or internet cafe. You also don't have to have administrator access to the PC for it to work. Settings changed while running a portable copy of NVDA can be saved to it. Once the license agreement has been acknowledged, the other buttons in the installation dialog becomes active. Press tab to move through the options. These are 1. Install NVDA on this computer. 2. Create portable copy 3. Continue running. If continue running is chosen, the launcher window closes. The temporary copy of NVDA continues running until it is exited or the PC is shut down. Create a portable copy can be run by pressing Alt plus P or Tab to this option and enter. NVDA walks through the steps to create a portable copy. The most important thing that NVDA needs to know is the directory where it should set up the portable copy. That covers our topic for installation of temporary and portable copies. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time.